Later on the show, I have this week's gym weather. Coming up later in the show, I have Ryan Dale talking about this upcoming football season. Southern. I'm Skylar Falk and this is SNN. Today we have Carly sitting down with Ryan Dale to discuss big changes happening this football season. Carly? Thanks Skylar and thanks for being here today Ryan. So, what, like, what's the situation with the fans attending the football games this season? Well as of right now we're following the outdoor social gathering rules of 500 people and that doesn't include the players and coaches on the field. What are your thoughts going into this season with COVID and everything being a little different? Well, it's definitely not the senior season I pictured or thought it would be, but I'm glad that and thankful that we're still going through with it as of right now. And I think we're doing a great job of following all the precautions we have to. And I'm definitely excited that we're getting to play. Is the end of the season, the postseason, the same as it was the previous year, or is it different? It'll be interesting to see if they do anything else for us or if the season's just going to end as is. Thanks for coming in and answering the questions. Back to you, Skylar. Definitely some changes happening everywhere. Let's head over to Jake with some announcements. Thanks, Skylar. Seniors, remember to go to their website and download your order form for your cap and gown. There are also forms in the main office. Your former money needs to be mailed to Kilborn and Kilborn. If you are interested in wrestling this year, there will be meetings after school today in room 106. A friendly reminder to all students, there are no after school meetings for any clubs until further notice. Any licensed drivers that does not have a parking permit, please go online under forms in the Genesis portal and fill out the information. Once you completed, bring your $2 to 1112 main office. Please only park in a lot along Route 9. This year, guidance appointments will be primarily virtual. Your counselor will contact you via email, phone, or Google Meet on your virtual day at a specific appointment time. You're responsible to monitor your school email for messages from your counselors and teachers. The Mum Fall fundraiser is running now through September 22nd to support Model Congress. Order forms are available in homerooms and on the Southern website. And lastly, Class of 2024, the Jetty Online shop for 2024 clothing is open through September 22nd. Please check out the Class of 2024 Google Classroom for the flyer. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Bucci in room 155 or Ms. Sabato in room 31. That's all for me today. Back to you, Skylar. Thanks, Jake. Jim is outside this year, and you need to be ready for the ever-changing fall climates. SNN's Alexa Dringus has your gym forecast. School is back in session here at Southern Regional High School. After a long quarantine and what seemed to be an endless summer, we are back and ready to roll with our new hybrid schedules. Almost all of us will be having gym class outdoors this school year, so weather will be a huge factor in what activities we can participate in. Let's get the latest scoop on this week's weather report. The weather forecast for this week seems to be a little gloomy, but hopefully still okay for those bike rides with Ms. Sharkey. Clouds are no match for the importance of physical activity. Today will be partially cloudy with a high of 79 and a low of 61. Friday has a 50% chance of rain with a high of 67 and a low of 53. Saturday and Sunday will be a lot chillier than the previous days and will have winds around 20 miles per hour. As you can see, there's a slight chance of weather activity that will put a halt in your gym schedule this upcoming week. Although the occasional shower is possible, it is not likely to be a complete washout. I hope you enjoyed this week's segment of SNN's Weather on the Ones. I'm Alexa Dringus, now back to the desk. That's it for this edition of SNN. For everyone here, I'm Skylar Falk and we'll see you tomorrow.